After subjecting himself to my rant about Apple's Crush ad, a friend of mine excitedly texted me, shots fired from Samsung, with a link to Samsung's Twitter, where they say, we would never crush creativity, hashtag uncrush, with an embed of their latest ad, and I was super excited. I love me a messy public corporate fight between two giant corporations. I am in the mood for some low stakes drama. I, I loved the Cola Wars. It was great. Pepsi versus Coke in the 80s. We got all kinds of new terrible flavors of both. We got Clear Pepsi, Clear Coke, both tasted awful. It was great. It was low stakes. It's fun to watch corporations fire shots at each other because, you know, ultimately we <laughs> we lose because we still buy their products like idiots. So I clicked over I, and I watched the ad unfold, hoping to get Samsung's version of not like us. I mean, it's, it's a lot to wish for. We just saw... Kendrick come out with the song of the summer. I, I was maybe putting a little too much <laughs> faith in Samsung. So, ad opens up. This person is walking through the warehouse where the, the giant hydraulic thing had crushed all that stuff, and there's pieces of things lying around, including a busted guitar. And they pick up the guitar, which strangely is in, in, in pretty good shape. Like, when you saw... All of those instruments get crushed in the Apple ad. It looked like they were fucking obliterated. Like there would be no shrapnel left around. But somehow this guitar. No, 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 no. I'm getting off track. I am not here to do a cinema sins on a fucking ad. So let's move on. Person picks up the guitar, starts tuning it, sits down, starts looking at some sheet music, courtesy of. Samsung's Galaxy S9 tab starts to play a little ditty, camera pans out, and the words creativity cannot be crushed flash on the screen. And, you know, it's cute. It's not the shot that I was hoping for. I don't think this is going to spark the Sengoku era warring states Samsung versus Apple ad war that I was hoping for, but it's cute. It's ultimately forgettable. It's a, it's a nice sentimental thing. And then the screen flashes something else. Galaxy Tab S9 series with Galaxy AI. Galaxy fucking AI. You mean the thing that has ruined Google search? The thing that is recommending people use fucking glue? to keep their cheese from falling off of their fucking pizza? The thing that has ruined Google image search and barfed up generative AI bullshit when I'm trying to look for references for things to draw when I need references and can't go out and get photos of things? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Hello, editing me breaking in here. I realize now as I'm watching this back and listening to the pizza glue rant that I'm conflating Galaxy AI with Google Search AI, uh, which are two different things. And this is what I get when I go off the dome and don't write out a script ahead of time or make bullet points. I was just like, God, I need to say things really quickly. Um, so yes, uh, I fuck up here, but I think it's still funny. So uh, back to me talking mad shit and sounding like a complete idiot. I am in no way, shape, or form a business person. So I'm probably too stupid to understand why Google thinks it's a good thing to destroy their core product. Their core product is, well, I guess their core product that they make money on is advertising, but their core product, the thing that we know Google for, is search. That's how they built their fucking empire. They did search better than everyone else. And now, with this Galaxy AI bullshit, they've essentially destroyed their core product. Fucking glue? On fucking pizza? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? I have to confess, I don't go here. I don't use Samsung products. Not because I think they're inferior or because I have a, a deep-seated hatred of Samsung. I don't give a shit. I just haven't had the opportunity to use them in any of my workflows. So I'm not going to talk trash about the Android system and how, oh, like, 
artists can't really use Android. It's not, I'm not here to, to say any of that. Android could be amazing. I'm sure the Samsung Tab tab whatever series is powerful enough to to do artwork with it like i've seen brad culbo's reviews of the 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 s9 series and sure you can draw things with it and they got clip studio all that great stuff but i certainly don't think you attract artists who have been uh ravaged by the generative ai space by by highlighting the fact that your your tablet device is powered by AI. Part of the reason why I personally had a visceral reaction to Apple's presentation was their emphasis on how great their new neural engine was in the M4 chip, because that to me signals they are going to be talking about a lot of AI stuff coming down the pike for their for their iPad system. And that bums me the fuck out. So instead of uh, leaving me with the warm, fuzzy feeling of, oh, that's a, that's a cute ad. Look, they, they flipped it around. They took a guitar that got busted and they, they brought new life to it. Uh, now I will never, ever, 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 ever buy a Samsung device. Not to say that Apple won't uh, fill their next version of iPad OS with AI bullshit, but for now, I can pretend. <laughs> Man, I, I'm just now thinking about it, but we'll never be able to get away from this stuff. We're never gonna get away with the, from this stuff. Ugh. I personally don't care what you use. If you're in the Android system, if you're in the Galaxy Tab system, and you find that it works for you, that's great. I, I am not holding water for any of these goddamn companies. Like, I use iPad, I sell brushes, for Procreate, which I always forget to highlight whenever I do one of these videos. But, you know, you saw in the last one, I shat on Apple for a good half hour. I'm not keeping for any of these companies, but I will call it out. I will call out the bullshit wherever I see it, which I guess uh, means bad things for the future of this channel. Like, no one's going to send me a device now. Um, but it's, but I find it really disheartening that the the future of mobile tech is now saddled with machine learning and, and AI systems that are, are trying to do the thinking for us. Like, I want to fuck up myself. Like, if I'm writing an email to somebody or if I'm texting somebody, I want them to get my unvarnished thoughts, all the mistakes, all the grammatical error, errors. Like, when I learned how to type, I was taught to use two spaces after a period. Like, I want people to, to see me. I want people to, to read my thoughts, to, to see the unvarnished bullshit that's in here and barf it out there. Like, I don't want AI to generate my words or to generate my art. So it bums me out. I feel like as we go along, you will not be able to purchase the device without the stuff running in the background. Like, already machine learning is all over Apple's camera app. Like, you can't get away from that. So once again, uh, an advertisement, a small little thing that's just supposed to give you a nice little fuzzy feel and maybe think about the product the next time you want to buy a thing has spiraled me <laughs> into an existential crisis contemplating the future of my livelihood. So I'm sorry, Samsung, this was a miss. Even Apple recognizes their own mistake. They've apologized for the crush ad. They were going to run it on TV. They've since pulled that portion of their campaign. It seems like, it seems like People are listening, kind of, even though they're heading straight forward into this, this generative future wasteland that awaits us. So, oh, I, I don't have a song for the end of this. When I originally came up with the name for my channel, Draw Jam, I wanted to do both art and music and highlight both at the same time. And my name is Jamie, so the jam part, you know, draw jam. I thought it was, I thought it was a clever hook. The first couple of videos I released on the channel, I did my own background music and all that kind of stuff, but they got copyright striked for whatever reason. I guess the sample packs that I used weren't cleared uh, through YouTube's system yet. So I don't know, I stopped doing the music portion and I grabbed like, you know, license-free stuff. But recently I've been doing more music at the end of these things. It's been a lot of covers. And so far I haven't had many copyright claims for the Apple iPad event reaction where I did could have been me at the end of it. I did get a copyright claim and I get it. It's a, it's a great strut 
song. I thought that the themes of the song fit perfectly for what I was feeling at the time. But I got the copyright strike from Halsey. And I'm like, why Halsey? I, I know she did the song in Sing, but why does Halsey's claim supersede the Strut's claim? I don't, I don't understand. Copyright, music copyright is a mess. I mean, it doesn't really matter right now because uh, the channel's not monetized. So, you know, if someone else is making, someone else is making money off of this anyway, so it might as well be a musician. But like, why Halsey and not the Struts? I don't understand that. That, that, that part of this doesn't make any sense. So I just wanted to give you a little insight as to why you've seen me play some jams at the end of some of these videos. There is method to my madness. <laughs> I guess I'll see you next time someone tries to sell me something. I don't know.